Thank you for tuning in for another episode of Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name is Ava Saltberger, and I am here in Williston, Vermont, at Cat Clear and Kate Pond's welding studio. It was the last day of a three-day welding camp, which is part of a three-week camp called Rosie's Girls. It's girls learning how to weld, making their own projects out of metal, and cool bracelets like this. Let's go talk to some of the girls and find out what they learned here today. And how do you use all this equipment anyway? One, two, three, three. Rosie! We can do it? Rosie's girls? I did it! Oh my god, oh my god! Yeah, let's go to the tour. She's like, no, I thought it's tried welding. I think using a lot of power tools that we haven't used before. How's it good getting your hand dirty? Ah, uh, fun! But it's really cool because it's like, I'm a girl and I'm doing this. And my dad's like really proud of me. He's like, Oh my god, that is so cool. You can help me do this and this and this. Like, have you ever done anything like this before? Nope. No one in my family has. Like, there are lots of boys out there, even boys that I know especially, that can't do this. Yeah, I feel more confident using tools and also as being myself. Rosie's Girls is a camp designed for um, girls between the ages of 9 and 13. It's designed for that age group because sometimes there's a little bit different social pressures that begin at that age. Well, and Rosie's Girls is a three-week camp and they come visit us for three days and in those three days we we experiment with all different kinds of welding tools. The first cut was always scary for everyone but then when they came back a second time and they're like oh I want to draw another shape and cut this Definitely out. Half yeah. of them get like really excited like let me go I'm ready to go and then a lot of them are like Staring back. I'm really nervous there's fire and because you're not sure if you're gonna get hurt or they're just big scary tools. It like burnt my arm because like, it goes on your pant leg, the spark, so it can get kind of hot. Half the point of welding is not caring about being dirty or burning a little bit of your clothes or something like that. And where you're like, oh my god, I don't think I can do this. Yes, but you do it and when you get it over with, it's okay again. Yeah, I'm not so scared around them anymore. And Once they really get their hands on to the tools and start just using them just ever so slightly, they go, oh, and that's that turning point. They see a spark fly, they've cut a shape out of metal, they've done a tack weld, and they're like, their eyes brighten up and they're like, that wasn't scary, let me do it again. Yeah, I, I just think it's pretty cool that you can take like all this junk metal and all this rusty stuff and just make stuff. It was in the middle of all these pieces that I cut out and this was left over and I cut it out. And look at seahorse. It's supposed to be a mermaid diving into the water to see like hair. Look at these legs. Whoa. No. It took a long time. A kind of lizardish type animal thing. Cool. Pondering musician with his guitar case. No. <laughs> it's a pondering musician? Yes, he's thinking. Except the buzz. So cool. Cool. I'd love to see them all turn into famous sculptors. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to come back next year. That's why I love being a part of it because I can get these girls excited about tools and send them off into the world and who knows what will happen. Hey everyone, this is Ava Solberger. Thank you for getting stuck in Vermont with us again. And remember girls, you can do anything you put your mind to. He always wanted a can can career, but he never really got it. That's so cool. I feel like it's in the I like it. It's his five seconds of fame. 
Uh, <laughs> you little septopus, you. Septopus. Septopus. 